Hi, I'm Charles Kelly. This is The Lancer Life, and I'm beginning a series. This is the first installment of a series of uh, videos I'm taking on house blends of cigars. Uh, my first installment takes me here. I'm with Jeffrey Pearson of Pearson Jeffries. How you doing, Jeff? I'm good, Charles. I'm Very good. good. Uh, so, I uh, walked into your shop a couple of weeks ago, mm -hmm. had a fantastic cigar, which really is the motivation for me putting the series together. Uh, I want you to tell me, um, when, did your, when did you get your passion for cigars? My uh, passion for cigars came about maybe, wow, 14, 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, I was uh, on business um, in Kentucky. Mm -hmm. And a buddy of mine offered me a cigar. Uh, it was a uh, Macanudo Portofino. Uh -huh. So it's a good plug for them. <laughs> training, <laughs> training wheel cigar. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Uh, I couldn't tell you if it was good or bad because I knew nothing about cigars, mm -hmm. basically. So uh, uh, about six months later, I had another one. It happened to be the same cigar. Mm -hmm. And uh, one day I decided to uh, take a trip downtown, Philadelphia, mm -hmm. to Holtz. Mm -hmm. And when I walked in and I saw all the cigars in their humidor and all the different brands and I was dumbfounded and fascinated at the same time mm -hmm. and basically that is what did it. everybody in the humidor was happy everybody was chatting people were talking about different cigars and and I felt like I needed to be part of this crowd cool now let's fast forward to now what prompted you to formulate your own blend and tell me about your blend well uh, we're smoking the Estilo Cabano Mm -hmm. uh, it is an Ecuadorian Habano wrap cigar. Um, the filler uh, is from uh, Jalapa, uh, Nicaragua, and the binder is from Esteli. So uh, you should get a, a good amount of smoke, a little woodsy taste. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, 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 you should get a little bit of leather, maybe some coffee. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I believe it's, it's a great cigar. I named it Estilo Cabano because it reminds me of some of the old style uh, Cuban cigars, mm. basically. Very um, flavorful. I uh, uh, always like to do things myself, and I was in the right place at the right time, and I met some people that uh, uh, were in the cigar business, but from a factory level, mm -hmm. they were making cigars. And when I said that I would love to make a cigar, a cigar, excuse me, a cigar of my own, mm -hmm. uh, they decided to help me uh, along this journey. So, how long have you been making your own cigars? I've been making my own cigars now. Uh, from the beginning, maybe five years, to a product that I can actually put my name on, <laughs> <Okay>. uh -huh. <laughs> uh, two years. Two okay, years, good. Basically. One that you're proud of. Yes. I see that yes. work paid off. I guess you went through a lot of different sampling of blends and yes. and, and different things in order to come up with a, a, a right match. That so is correct. talk to me about the different Vitolas your cigars come in. Well, the uh, what we're smoking... Uh, is the again the Estilo Cabana, mm -hmm. and believe it or not, based on the blending of this cigar, I believe that the best flavor that I got from this cigar was in the Toro size. Okay. Uh, when I when I when it was rolled in the in the robusto, it, it kind of didn't taste the same. It was definitely mm. similar. Okay. But but it was a little bit more strong. Uh, when it was rolled in the in the in the Corona. Uh, and or torpedo, it, it didn't have the same flavor profile. Flavor, and okay. it, it, it did, but but I wasn't happy with what I got. Okay, uh, I was extremely happy with what we get from the Toro, so I decided to just do one size of this okay. cigar. Okay, great. Uh, and it works, and people like it a lot. Okay, uh, what I'm working on is actually doing a bigger size because guys here in my shop want a bigger cigar, mm -hmm. uh, sixty ring gauge. Mm -hmm. So I'm working on that. Okay. But but uh, in my other uh, cigar lines, the Perfecto, um, the Perfecto actually has uh, five sizes. Okay. Uh, we have a Toro, 6x52. We have a uh, Robusto, 5x50. Mm -hmm. We have a Robusto Extra, 5 and a quarter by 54 mm -hmm. We have a Corona, uh, which basically is a big Corona because it's a 6x44. Okay. Um, some people would call it a Lancero, basically. Mm -hmm. um, and we have a double perfecto, okay. um, which is a six and a half by 54 by 42. Okay, outstanding. So that gives uh, smokers a nice variety of different sizes and vitolas. Everybody can find their favorite. 
you know, we talked about this last night. The thing I like about different Vitolas is you can get a different flavor profile from a comparable blend because, you know, the wrapper leaf begins to become more prominent when yes. you have a slimmer cigar. Uh, the filler and the binder begins to take more prominence when you have a fatter cigar and to yes. each their own. Yes. So you mentioned uh, your, your cigar shop. Tell me about your cigar shop. How long have you been here? Where are you located? Well, we are at 925 Providence Road, Store 15 in Seacane, S-E-C-A-N-E, mm-hmm. Pennsylvania. Zip is 19018. We've been here since September 2nd of mm-hmm. this year. Mm-hmm. So we're rather new. Um, I wanted to put a shop together that wasn't like your typical cigar shop. Mm-hmm. Um, I wanted cigar smokers, in my opinion, need a place to go and relax and, you know, have some elbow room to, to you know, just ease their day away, mm-hmm. basically. Think of our shop as a sports bar because we are a BYOB, mm-hmm. um, but we don't sell alcohol, but, but we have big screen TVs and, yep. and you can come in and and get one of my cigars and and you can sit back and relax and maybe listen to some soft jazz. So I like the layout of the shop. Uh, I was here last Sunday uh, to catch uh, the tail end of that brutal Eagles versus Redskins game. Uh, But talk about the, uh, you know, the mood and the vibe here. Well, the best thing I see in the last three months is that everyone that comes here is friends with everyone else that's already here. Okay. we have a sign on the wall that says uh, you come in as a customer but you leave as a friend Mm -hmm. and what I've seen in the last three months is whether you're African American white Chinese Asian doesn't matter when you come into my shop because you are a cigar smoker everyone seems to start being like-minded yeah we have some common ground exactly Mm -hmm. common ground Mm -hmm. exactly there's great conversations there's a lot of laughter uh, and in some sections, it's, it's just quiet. If someone wants to come in after work and read their paper and have a cup of coffee, they can do that too. Mm-hmm. So, so the vibe is easy, mm-hmm. uh, basically. It's mm-hmm. very easy. And my customers tell me that this feels like an extension of their living room, yeah. which is a great thing. I enjoy that. That's a, that's a great endorsement. Uh, you talked about coffee. You sell coffee here. Talk about your coffee. We do sell coffee. Uh, Pearson Jeffries is a coffee broker. Uh, and we buy coffees directly from the importers and or the farms directly. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have mm, maybe 10, 15 different types of coffee and more coming in at all times. And where's the coffee from? Uh, well, we have some coffee from Jamaica. We have Jamaican Blue Mountain. Mm. We have Hawaiian Kona. Uh, we have, again, coffees from Africa. Mm-hmm. Uh, some of our best-selling coffees are our Indonesian coffees, which is our Bali Blue Moon is organic. Mm. Um, our Papua New Guinea is organic. Um, our Sumatra coffee uh, is a great coffee. It's a dark roast. But all Indonesian coffees, people like them because they are very low in acidity. Acidity, yeah. Yes, mm-hmm. and, and, and they like that a lot to the point where a part of my plan was not selling coffee by the pound, but my customers have been requesting it. And believe it or not, my customers are actually buying coffee by the pound. Wow, that's outstanding. Yes, yes. That's outstanding. So uh, here we are at, again at um, Pearson Jeffries. Um, uh, got a website. Yes, you Talk can about go the to uh, uh, the website's been built for about two years. Mm-hmm. Uh, we we are, are in the process of making some changes, but you can go to pearsonjeffries.com. That's P I E R S O N G E O F is in Frank F is in Frank R E Y S dot com. And read about my story, mm-hmm. read about the shop. You can also visit us on Facebook, same name, and you can see the pictures. Uh, one part of the of the shop here that, again, that wasn't part of the plan, but it, it worked out because we have the space, is we actually do live events here. Good. So mm-hmm. we've had uh, some wine tastings. We've had some bourbon tastings. Mm-hmm. Uh, everything that complements a cigar. Mm-hmm. We've had some beer tastings. Uh, and we've had some coffee tastings as well. All right. And a couple of weeks ago, we've actually had a live jazz trio play here at Pearson Jeffries, and it was a great night. You should come by and see us. All right. So um, I uh, always encourage uh, my followers, please support your brick and mortar. You can go out and get cigars that maybe you know aren't available in your area or rare or hard to find. I ask you to ask your 
local tobacconists, if you can't find it, to talk to them. They'll maybe stock it and, and get it on hand for you. Uh, but uh, definitely want to support your, your, your local local shops. And the thing that I'm learning in, in my travels is you really need to try some of these house blends. They're really, really fantastic. It's not a cheap cigar. These are really good quality cigars, cigars that I would pair up against some of the famous uh, well-known blends. So um, I'm encouraging to try it. Uh, this is The Lancer Life. I'm Charles Kelly, and thank you for watching. Charles? It's been a pleasure. It's been my pleasure. Out. All right. Thank you. You got to come and check this guy out. You guys take care.